In this video, let's take a look at optimistic updates with React Query. Optimistic updates, as the name indicates, imply updating the state before performing a mutation under the assumption that nothing can go wrong. It is typically done to give an impression that your app is blazing fast. When dealing with optimistic updates though, you do have to cater to scenarios where the mutation can in fact error out. Managing optimistic updates is typically not so straightforward. React Query, on the other hand, does simplify it to a good extent. Let's understand how it works with our superheroes example. Step one, I'm going to comment out the on success callback as that is not needed for optimistic updates. Instead, we need three other callbacks. On mutate, on error, and on settled. Let's define these functions one step at a time. For our second step, let's define the on mutate callback. On mutate is called before the mutation function is fired and is passed the same variables the mutation function would receive. In our case, it is the new hero we want to add. This right here. Within the function, the first thing we want to do is cancel any outgoing refetches so they don't overwrite our optimistic update. The way to do that is using the cancel queries method on the query client instance. So query client dot cancel queries. And the query we want to cancel is the superheroes query. But this needs to be awaited. So add async keyword to the function and await cancel queries method. Next, we need to get hold of the current query data before we make any update. This will help us roll back in case the mutation fails. And to get hold of the current query data, we use the get query data method on the query client instance. So const previous hero data is equal to query client dot get query data and the query is the superheroes query. Now we are all set to update the query data. And we have already seen how to do this in the previous video using the set query data method. So let me copy paste the code. Here though, we don't have data dot data. Instead, we have to use the new hero object we have passed into the function. But if you take a look at the component code, new hero is an object with just name and alter ego. We are missing the ID in our optimistic update. So what we can do is instead of data dot data, specify an object. ID is going to be old query data dot data dot length plus one and we spread new hero. We now have ID as well as the properties present in the hero object. Please do keep in mind that our ID is just a sequential number. If you have a long unique ID, you should probably use the UUID package to generate the ID instead of the logic we have here. So we have now updated our list of heroes even before making the post request. From this on mutate function though, we are going to return an object with a key value set to previous hero data. This will be used to roll back data in case the mutation errors out. Which now brings us to step three, defining the on error callback. This function is called if the mutation encounters an error. The function receives three arguments. 
First argument is the error that was encountered. We don't need this, so I'm going to add an underscore. The second argument is the variables passed into the mutation, which would be hero name and alter ego. We don't need this either, so I'm going to add an underscore. The third argument is context, which contains additional information pertaining to the mutation. It is on this object we can access previous hero data that we have returned from the onMutate callback and set it as the query data when there is an error. So within the function body, query client dot set query data, the query is the superheroes query. And the data is context dot previous hero data. Our rollback logic is pretty simple as you can see. Let's move on to the fourth and final step, which is defining the onSettled callback. This function is called if the mutation is either successful or when it encounters an error. In this function, all we have to do is refetch the superheroes. So query client dot invalidate queries, we pass in superheroes as the key. This will ensure client state is in sync with server state. The user of course will not notice a difference. And that should do it. Let's save the file and head to the browser. Let's refresh, clear the network tab and add Aquaman and Arthur Curry. Add hero and straight away you can see the hero is added to the list and in the background a refetch is initiated and the list is synced with the server state. If I remove the ease fetching flag for the loading indicator, go back to the browser, add a new hero Aquaman 2 you can see the hero is straight away added and in the background, a refetch is triggered. Our optimistic update works as expected. As a homework, I want you to experiment with the error logic. Change the request URL to an invalid URL and make sure to handle ease loading and ease error flags in the component JSX as discussed a couple of videos ago. So on mutate, on error, and on settled. You need to work with these callbacks for optimistic updates. With that, we come to the end of working with mutations in React Query. I hope you're now in a good position to handle both queries and mutations. If you're enjoying the content, please do leave a like as it helps out reach more people in the community. I'll see you in the next video.